The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Good afternoon. My name is Ron Juckett, or good evening, or good morning, depending on when you watch this. Welcome to the program for this ninth day of January 2024. And while we did opening day yesterday, the entire American League played, except the two teams we're about to feature. On this Tuesday, we play the games of April 5th, 1988. The New York Yankees come into this 1988 season certainly with a... Ch you done yet? I really don't think that I need to watch the giant recap video from this year. Anyway, the New York Yankees come in to this 1988 season certainly within a shot to win the division. In real life, they only finished three and a half games out of first place when all was said and done. And I really do think this is going to be a 16 battle royale between the Tigers, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Yankees, Milwaukee, and Cleveland. I think when all is said and done, I think that the only team that really doesn't have a chance is Baltimore. And when I show you the standings at the middle of the third, fourth inning, the Orioles aren't first place. They're one and oh. The Yankees' weak spot, I think, is going to become apparent as we go along today. Rick Roden is the starting pitcher for New York, and those numbers aren't ace numbers. So if the Yankees have a weakness, it is their starting rotation. The Twins come in in 1988 as the defending world champions. And in a decade that saw extremely strong teams win it all, the Twins are the weak darling. Of them all, even the Dodgers of this year won 94 games. It wasn't a fluke. The, the fluke was upsetting the Oakland A's. But the Twins are really a good team. And when Frank Viola on the mound coming off that World Series year, he's a 24-game winner. The weather is not good in New York. 64 degrees, winds blowing in from right at 6 to start. Remember, we do have rain delays, but we don't have rain outs. You're going to get nine innings of baseball. Between the Twins and the Yankees, as they are the last two teams in the American League to kick off 1988. As Retro Sports Network presents MLB Replay 88. Opening day continues from the big old ballparks in the Bronx as the New York Yankees host the Minnesota Twins. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalAdvice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else, or wherever else, not wherever else, wherever else, fine podcasts are listed. You'd think after a thousand times, I'd have that right. So you see Viola and R Roden going at it. And as good of a pitcher as Rick Roden was, it's a much better golfer. We'll get into that as we move along. Roden comes into his first start of the year. He'll make 30. 12 and 12 with a 4.29 ERA. End of his career, 35 years old. Fastball at 83, a fly ball pitcher. A hundred and ninety-seven innings. 206 hits, 20 home runs, 56 walks, and 94 strikeouts. Here's a Twins lineup for you. Dan Gladden leads off in left field. Greg Gagne will bat second and play short. Kirby Puckett in the mid-80s found some power. He will hit third and play center field. Kent Herbeck at first will clean up. Gary Gagnetti, the World Series hero, will bat fifth and play third. Randy Bush is your DH. He goes sixth. Tom Bernanski only played 14 games for the Twins in 1988. He'll be in right. He'll bat seventh. Tom Nieto behind the plate goes eighth. And Steve Lombardozzi at second will bat ninth. Big Dave, how are you? Good morning, Forrest. How are you? Afternoon baseball, John. Hopefully you caught the end of yesterday's stream. And Forrest was seven years old in 1988. It's a fun year if you're a fan of the American... Actually, the Padres didn't do too badly. Defensively for the Yankees, Ricky Henderson a 6-4 and a four in left. Roberto Kelly a 7-3 and a three in center. Dave Winfield a 7-7 seven and a seven in right. For the Yankees, this is pretty much it. They had a good run in the 80s, but somehow only made the play... Well, they made the playoffs twice. They didn't make them after 81. Mike Pagliarulo was a 5 at third. 
Rafael Santana over from the Mets is a six at short. Willie Randolph is a seven at second. Don Mattingly is a ten at first. Joel Skinner behind the plate. He's a five and a three. Rick Roden and his nine handicap golf. He's a scratch golfer, a seven on the mound with a 1,000 fielding percentage. So again, raining, wind blowing in from right at six in 64 degrees. Dan Gladden at 269 and 88, 11 home runs in 62 RBI. And Gladden slaps this one to Santana. Raphael on the grass, throws to Mattingly, and Gladden is out on the bang banger. So a close play, one out for Gagne. Gagne at 236, but does have power. 14 homers and 48 RBI. Free swinger, he struck out 110 times. In 88, fly ball, left field. Henderson will track it down. Ricky's there, and there's two out. Listen to the rest of yesterday's game this morning. You know, there's the old saying that Jack Moore is for the Tigers and eventually the Twins would pitch to the score. But by goodness, he really did pitch to the score. Here's Kirby Puckett. Kirby at 356. 24 homers, and he drove in 121 in 88 while scoring 109 times. Roden deals. Puckett pops it up. A lot of room here at Yankee Stadium. Skinner doffs the mask to the screen and makes the catch, and that will retire the side. The Twins go in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Half an inning in the books. No score. So here's Frank Viola. Hard to believe that this was his only Cy Young Award, and what a year it was in 88 for the lefty. Frank is 28. I forget when he would go to the Mets as a free agent. Fastball at 89 and a ground ball pitcher. Eventually would go to the Red Sox if Bernie was here. He'd tell you that at the end of his career. 35 starts for sweet Frankie Viola. 24-7 and seven with a 2.64 ERA. And that's a 153 ERA plus. 255 and a third for Viola. 236 hits, 20 home runs. He walked 54 while striking out 193. The lineup for the Yankees is opening day. Ricky Henderson's in left. He'll lead off. Willie Randolph, the grizzled vet, at second. Well, bat second. Don Mattingly at first will go third. Gary Ward is a DH he cleans up. Dave Winfield in right will bat fifth. Him and Steinbrenner, of course, that great big feud. Roberto Kelly, who only will play 38 games this year, in center will bat sixth. Mike Pagliarulo surprisingly gets the call against the lefty Viola. He'll bat seventh. Joel Skinner behind the plate batting eighth. And as we said, Rafael Santana over from the Mets at short will bat ninth. And Viola should throw about 115 pitches. Roden should throw about 110. And if that translates well, it's into the seventh for Roden. And Viola should pitch about seven. They're playing for the bunt. We're not going to do it. Dan Gladden is an eight and a seven as we set the Twins defense for you. Kirby Puckett at 10 and an eight in the center. Tom Brunanski, a two and a three. Not a good right fielder. Gary Gaiani is a 10 at third. Greg Gagne, a 5 at short. Lombardozzi, a 3 at second. Ken Herbeck, a 3 at first. Tom Nieno, a 7 and a 6 behind the plate. And Viola is a 3 on the mound with a 946 fielding percentage. Henderson at 305. 6 homers and 50 RBI. He will steal 93 bases. Uh, do they list Billy as a manager? No, it's listed as Lou Pinella. That doesn't. So a Pinella finished the year. That's how they do this. And this was just before the Yankees would head south for a few years in the standings. Broke my heart, as you can tell. Pitch to Henderson. He'll swing away and laces that one in the left center for a base hit. So Ricky, a threat to steal, of course. Willie Randolph at 230. Two homers. And 34 RBI. So if Billy started the year, he's going to get canned. 
and no one was canned more outside of your local Coca-Cola or Pepsi bottler than Billy Martin. We'll let Viola throw to first. He does, and Ricky is back. And now we're going to steal. Viola throws back to first. Wow, that's new, and Henderson's back. So that's new in the game this year. I've never seen two pickoff throws to first. He goes to the plate. The throw down to Lombardozzi, and Ricky has his first stolen base of the year. It won't be his last, trust me. So this was the era where the Yankees were trying to emphasize speed. And, of course, Ricky just got on base. He really is the best leadoff hitter in Major League history. And now Viola can concentrate on Randolph. Willie hits a ground ball to Gagne, and Greg throws to first for the out. George Steinbrenner, of course, had no patience for his manager until he was banned for life and reinstated. I uh, believe by Faye Vincent as the commissioner of baseball. And then Steinbrenner kind of softened up and stuck with Joe Torre and was highly, highly, highly successful. Speaking of highly successful, Don Mattingly at 311, 18 homers and 88 RBI. That is a slow ground ball to Lombardozzi. Throws to Herbeck and Mattingly is retired. So Ricky goes to third. Brings up Gary Ward. Gary at 225, four homers and 24 RBI. Gotta say, this Yankee lineup is shaky at best. Viola deals. In the left, Glatton over in the corner. That's well hit. Will he run out of room? No, he will not. He makes a good catch. No, that's off the wall. Or right by the wall. Ward will hold with a single. Now, Ward tripped around first. So that did bounce to the wall. Again, we've changed some of the animations here. And so that should have been a double from Ward. But he tripped over the wet bag. At any event, Henderson scores. Two days in a row. Yep. Brings up Winfield at 322. 25 homers and 107 RBI. Popped up. Right side. Herbeck dodges the raindrops. And will make the catch. And that will do it. So the Yankees get a run on two hits and no errors. We go to the second here on opening day at the stadium, 1-0 New York. So Herbeck, Gaetti, and Bush to face Roden. Herbeck at 3-12, 25 homers, and 76 RBI. Roden starts the second, and Herbeck draws the walk. Here's Gaetti at 3-0-1. 28 homers and 88 RBI. That's a fearsome middle of the lineup for the Twins. Roden deals. And he walked them. So two straight walks. That was a fastball on a full count that missed. And now I'll bring up Randy Bush at 261. 14 homers and 51 RBI. So Roden, a contact pitcher for sure. He walked 56 and struck out 94 in 197 innings. And he balks. You'd think it was 1987 or something. We've had two streams and two balks. So a 2-1 count to Randy. And Roden is working hard here in the rain in New York. Yeah, and that's ball four. And so he has walked him loaded, and he's hurt. And that would make sense. He says, I got to come out, and we're going to have to change the pitcher. So three straight walks. And whoever we bring in won't be Candelaria. No wonder why the Yankees struggled. John Candelaria, Tommy John, Lee Guterman. 
We're going to go with Charles Hudson. So Hudson has all the time in the world to warm up. He will start 12 games for the Yankees, but not until May. So 6-6, six and six, a 4-4-9 four, four, ERA. 28 games. He's 29 years old. Fastball at 88 and a fly ball pitcher. And is probably best remembered for his remarkable pitching in the 1983 National League Championship Series against the Dodgers for the Phillies. The rest of his numbers, he went 6-6 six and six with two saves, by the way. 106 innings and a third innings. 93 hits. Nine home runs, 36 walks, and 58 strikeouts. So, once again, Tom Brunanski now will step in at 184, a home run, and 6 RBI. Herbeck on third, Gaetti on second, Bush on first, one nothing Yankees, who got a whopping one inning from Rick Roden. I brought up yesterday, John says, about outfield assists on hitters trying to take an extra base. He's currently managing the Reds, Phillies, and Rangers in the 74 replay. That's about 15 to 20 scheduled weekly games. You get about one outfield assist of that sort each week. Yeah, that's not a lot. Pitch to Bruno. In the right center, that should score Herbeck. Kelly going back will make the catch. Herbeck goes back to tag. And Kelly is going to uncork one to the plate. To Skinner. And Herbeck slides under the tag. And everybody moves up 90. So one nothing Twins. And since the Yankees walk the bases loaded, the Twins don't have a hit yet. There are people who are into binary right now going one zero zero zero. I like that. It's time to Yato. Time to not catch an awful lot. Four for 60 on a year with an 067 batting average. So advantage Hudson with one out, but Gaetti and Bush on third and second, respectively. Diego grounds one to Santana. They'll take the shore out at first. Gaetti will score. Diego is going to reach on an error. So Santana not ingratiating himself to the Yankee Stadium faithful as Diego will reach on the air. The throw pulled Mattingly off the bag, and it's now 2-1, to one, Minnesota. So if it is Martin, someone want to double-check? Billy's already found Earl Weaver's Chesterfields and has lit one up. Here's Lombardozzi. Steve is at 209, three homers, and 27 RBI. His kid, of course, played with the Twins as well. Bush in the 801, one out for Charlie Hudson, who was in for the injured Rick Roden. Got him. An 0 2 fastball swung on a miss. So here's Gladden, who's 0 for 1. Hudson in to relieve Roden, who walked the bases loaded. Two, both of the twins' runs are going to be charged to Rick. But Rick got hurt. Pitch to Gladden. Skied to Santana. Rafael dodges the raindrops and will make the catch on the grass. However, the error did not help the cause. Two runs, no hits, and one error. Twins leave on to, but after an inning and a half, they lead two to one. So Kelly, Pagliarulo, and Skinner to face Viola here in the second. Roberto, a part-time player. For the Yankees in 88. 247, a homer, and seven RBI. And I think in college, of course, he when I was in college in the early 90s, he was a starting center fielder for the Yankees before Bernie Williams. And he must have been listed backwards somewhere because we gave him the nickname Kelly Roberto. Pitch to Kelly. Ground ball to third. Guy Eddie will gobble it up. Has to hurry the throw to Herbeck because Kelly can run, and Roberto is out on the bang-banger. 
So one out for Pags. A rare appearance against a lefty for Pagliarulo. 216, 15 homers, and 67 RBI. And he gets hit. An 0-1 curveball got him away from Viola. And that will bring up Joel Skinner. 227, 4 homers, and 23 RBI. He could bunt. Don't know if Billy would bunt. But we are now. Drops it down. Viola off the mound. He throws to Lombardozzi covering the bag at first. And it goes down 1-4. So two out. And Pagliarulo moving to second for Santana. Rafael at 244 homers and 38 RBI. To third. Gaetti across the way to Herbeck. And they're going to leave Pags on second. So after two here in the big old ballpark in the Bronx, no runs, no hits, no errors. Twins two, Yankees one. So Gagney, Puckett, and Herbeck to face Hudson. And just in case anyone's being funny, the river was not named after Charles. Gagney is 0 for 1. Struck him out, 2 for Charlie. 2-2 uh, two -two fastball in there in the inside corner. That'll bring up Puckett. Kirby is 0 for 1. And for the longest time, was my favorite not Red Sox player. In the right, Winfield going back to the track. That's off the wall. And Kirby's going to have himself a double. His first of the year, he is raked. So he's in the second standing for Herbeck, who walked and scored. That is, by the way, the first hit for the Twins. In the left, opposite way, Herbeck to Henderson, and Ricky's there for the out. Kirby will hold at second for Gary Gaetti, who walked and scored in the second. In the center, Kelly. That's a big ballpark, and he'll make the catch. The wind is now howling in from right at 19. The rain is stopped. It says it's 66, but the 55,000 here beg to differ. And after two and a half, it's still two to one twins. So top of the lineup now for the Yankees. Viola's opening nine, 31 pitches. Two innings, two hits. Ricky singled, stole second, and scored the lone Yankee run. Draws the walk. Viola snaps the ball back. A 3-1 fastball missed outside. First walk for Viola. This time we're not going to steal. Willie Randolph is 0-1. for 1. From the stretch. Gets away from the 8-0 and Henderson takes the base. So a wild pitch. Way out there. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. So the Yankees had the tying run in scoring position. Nobody out. And he throws to second. That's due. Ricky's back. It's the little things with this game. Pitch to Randolph. And that's in the right field. Bernanski will pick it up on a hop. Henderson has his subway token in hand. And he should score with ease. As the throw does go in the infield. So it's the Twins 2, Ricky Henderson 2, as Randolph has the RBI single. So here's Mattingly. He's 0 for 1. Viola's pitch. Ground ball to Herbeck. Kent goes to Gagney for 1. Can they turn it back to first? And it is a 3-6-3 double play. So 2 out in a 2-2 tie. D. Scott Howard, how are you? Here's Gary Ward. He singled home Ricky Henderson in the first. Got him. First strikeout fire, fire, for the <laughs> for Viola, and that will retire the side. The Yankees, however, get a run on a hit and no errors. We go to the fourth here, opening day in the Bronx. 
2-2, Twins and Yanks. So Hudson in relief, oh, Rick Roden. Bush, Brunanski in the 8 -o. Randy walked his first time up. Right center, Kelly, one out. For Brunanski, who had a sack fly in the second. Got him. That's three for Hudson. An 0-2 breaking ball is in there for... Got him looking. So here's Nieto. Tom, being an advertisement, why wow, you should be able to use your DH for any position. Yep. John says, I like every improvement they've made to the game for the last four years that you've been playing, except... The CPU still insists on pinch hitting for a better hitter just because the CPU wants to remove him for defense. It'll pinch hit a 350 hitter for defensive replacement. I'll show you this. I'm sure you know about this already. But I have it set for the computer to tell me when it makes a lineup change and warn before they pitch, pinch hit, pinch run, or defensive sub. And so if I see that, I just reject it. So Nieto is 0 for 1. Hudson deals. To first, Mattingly is there. And that will retire the side after three and a half. No runs, no hits, no errors. Twins and Yankees tied at two. And so people like the standings, and boy, this is so meaningful, isn't it? But if you're an Oriole fan, you'll take it because it's probably the only stream all year that they will be in first place. We said the Yankees and the Twins, the last two in the American League to get started. The Dodgers are already in lost place. That's true. I, I don't, for all the games that get simmed, yep. But that's one of the things, John. Really just can't do anything about that. Yeah, I, I get where that's frustrating, for sure. Dave Winfield is 0 for 1. Line drive to Gagne, one out. And Gagne with a great leaping catch, his first of the year. For the out. Here's Kelly, he's 0 for 1. And he draws the walk. Here's Pagliarulo. Mike got hit by a pitch. I remember I'm the one managing the Yankees. I got to watch what I do with Kelly here. Viola throws to first, and Kelly is back. Now, I'm not going to hit and run, but I probably am going to steal. So there goes Kelly. The throw down to Gagne, and Roberto is in there. So the Yankees have two stolen bases on the afternoon. And a one-strike count now to Pags. Viola deals. And there's a ground ball to Lombardo Zisti. Throws to first two out. And Kelly moves to third. So a little manufacturing of runs. You can see why Steinbrenner would want that. It worked so well for the Cardinals in the 80s and it's just a good way to manufacture some offense remember Ricky Henderson is both the Yankee runs in this game Joel Skinner sack bun in his first time up strikes out and that's the inning so 1-2 fastball swung on and missed no runs, no hits, and no errors. The Yankees and Twins have both left on three. And after four, I haven't taken a drink yet. 
It's the Twins 2, the Yankees 2. There, the whistle has been whetted. Lombardozzi struck out his first time up. That's an in to replace Roden, who got hurt, has thrown three solid innings. Popped up, left side, Santana, one out. For Gladden, who's 0 for 2, so Gibson, or Hudson, has retired 10 batters and allowed a hit, 54 pitches, and has struck out three. Ground ball to third. Pagliarulo snares it over to Mattingly. For the out, two away. Brings up Gagney, who is 0 for 2. He is struck out. The Twins only have one hit. Down the line and left. Henderson's going to have to run, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. It is supposed to be a huge storm here tonight. And tomorrow, 50, 60 mile an hour winds and all that. Halfway home on a peaceful Tuesday afternoon in Burlington. It's the Twins and Yankees, not at a two. You want me to go after you're done? Mm hmm. Okay. Thanks, And let me tell you, that chicken smells delicious. Cleveland getting the high winds already. It's supposed to be a wet, gloppy snow that will change to rain with these winds. It's not going to be fun. Anyway, join us late. Here's how we got here. Gary Ward with a leadoff single. To make a one nothing Yankees in the first. In the second, the Twins sent seven to the plate. And Rick Roden got hurt. Tom Bernanski, a sack fly to tie the ball game at one. And then Tom Nieto with a grounder to score one on an error to make it two to one twins. In the third, Willie Randolph tied the ball game on an RBI single. And so Viola, a three hitter through four. Roden, one inning and change. He walked three. And Charlie Hudson is going to get about five innings in before he's going to have to come out, but he has done yeoman's work on a wet day out of the pen. So Santana is 0 for 1 as we start the bottom of the fifth. Same here in the Pacific Northwest, Scott, he's saying. Mount Baker is expecting five feet of snow in the next couple days. I'm sure I've asked you this before, but do you ski? Pitch to Santana. Here's a ground ball. Lamar Dozy behind the bag over to Herbeck for the out. And Washington trying to bury their sorrows after getting beat by Michigan last night in the national championship game, which should have been in Pasadena, not Houston. Mickey Henderson is one for one. He has scored both the Yankee runs, stole a base and walked. Viola, 70 pitches through 18 batters, four and a third, three hits, two walks, and two strikeouts. We're going to swing, and Ricky laces this one in the right center field. Kirby Puckett will make the play on a hop. And is Ricky going for two? He is. He's going to run on Puckett's arm and is in there. So Ricky is blessed with Ricky's speed. And he's the go-ahead run here in the fifth. Here's Randolph, Willie, one for two. A single and an RBI. Popped up. Gagney. Has it for the out. Two away. So here's Mattingly. Dawn is 0 for two. And is grounded into a double play. 
And they're going to walk him. So the intentional walk, probably the right call with two out because Gary Ward isn't much of a hitter. Now normally, I give you three times through before I'll pinch hit. So we'll let Ward hit. So Henderson on second, Mattingly on first. Two out, bottom of the fifth, and a 2-2 two -two tie. Ward is one for two. He has an RBI and a strikeout to go along with a single. Ward strikes out. That worked out nicely. Thank you for the Twins. No runs, a hit, and no errors. And we go to the sixth on opening day in New York. Two to two, Twins and Yanks. So Puckett, one for two with a double. Hudson deals to Randolph. Over to Mattingly, one out. For Kent Herbert, Kent. 0 for 1. Walked and scored. 5 feet. That's, ugh. Dude, I'm only 5 foot tall. So you're going to get me falling out of the sky over the next 48 hours. Pitch to Herbeck. Fly ball, right field. Wind field. Didn't even have to move. Steinbrenner scowls at Dave as he makes the catch two away. So here's Gary Gaetti. Gary's walked. And is driven and has scored. He's 0 for 1. So Hudson about to give the Yankees five shutout innings here. However, he walks Gaetti. It's a broadcaster's jinx. Gaetti a threat to steal. Bush 0 for 1 with a walk. The Twins have been held on one hit. There goes Gaetti to throw down to Santana, and Gary's out. They got him. So a strong throw by Skinner, and the side is retired. The Twins, no runs, no hits, and no errors. Holy cow, after five and a half, it's still 2-2. Two -two. So Winfield, Kelly, and Pagliarulo to face Viola here. The rain has stopped. It's now blowing 18 from right to left. And it's 69 degrees. No school because of the storm. We're about to get that to, tonight and tomorrow. Winfield is 0 for 2. Slow ground ball to Gagney. Greg over to first. One out. Here's Kelly. Roberto is 0 for 1. He's stolen a base and walk. High ground ball to Gaetti over to first. And Kelly is safe. He beat it out. Yep, Mr. May grounds out. We just made the, that joke. <laughs> so fifth hit for the Yankees. Here's Pagliarulo. It was 0 for 1. Throws to first as Viola, and Kelly is back. Well ahead of the throw. It's not what the animation told me. Line drive to Gagney for the out. Two away. Joel Skinner is 0 for 1 with the strikeout. Again, a throw to first. That seems to be one of the new wrinkles in the game is multiple throws to first by the AI. Got him. And that'll do it for the Yankees in the sixth. Curveball outside, and Skinner just watched it. No runs, a hit, no errors. Throw the seventh, opening day in New York, 2-2, the score. The Yankees need to trade Kelly. He... Kind of like Horace Clark, a good player on what would be some bad Yankee teams. Randy Bush is 0 for 1 with a walk. Hudson, probably in his last inning, in for the injured Roden, has gone five scoreless. In the right, Winfield, one out. Here's Brunanski. Thomas struck out and driven in a run. Twins got two in the second. 
The Yankees got singletons in the first and the third. Both runs scored by one Ricky Henderson. And Bruno draws the walk. So let's see what they do with Diedo here. Hudson has walked two and five in the third. Skinner and Hudson have a word. There goes Bernanski to throw down to Randolph, and Tom is thrown out trying to steal. What was Tom Kelly thinking? Skinner doesn't have a great arm, but you don't get thrown out trying to steal in that situation. Kind of wonder if that was a failed hit and run. Anyway, two out and a one strike count. Hudson delivers. Fly ball, left field. Henderson in the corner, and Ricky will make the catch. Stretch time, 2 2. So the Yankees get that gift. Two runs at just a one hit for the Twins. Kirby Puckett, no errors, and they've left on three. The Yankees, two runs, five hits, an error, and they have left on six. Santana, Henderson, and Randolph here in the seventh for New York. And Rafi is 0 for 2. Line drive to Gagne, one out. So opening 27 for Viola, 106 pitches, six and a third, five hits, three walks and four strikeouts. And this is Frank Viola's Cy Young year. Ricky Henderson has reached base all three times. He is singled, doubled, and walked, scored both the Yankee runs in 1988 and stole a base. They're playing for the bunt. Ricky swings, and he's going to go three for three as that one's ripped in the center. Is he going for two again? He might be. He's going to try it to throw to Lombardozzi, and Ricky has his second double. And in essence, it's the second time today he has stolen a double. So here's Randolph. We're playing back, he's one for three. He has singled an RBI. He's going to square. Bunt is down. The Edo throws to first. Lombardozzi's there. And Henderson moves on to third. So they're going to walk Mattingly again to face Ward. They won't be facing Ward. We'll pinch hit. The go-ahead uh, go run is on with two out. See if the computer does the two out intentional walk. Nope. Mattingly dribbles one down to first. Herbeck foul. And the count is a ball and two strikes. So a cat and mouse game going on now with a speedy Henderson on third. And Mattingly loops this one into right field for a single. And so it's Ricky Henderson three. The Minnesota Twins, too. And that'll do it for Viola. Juan Berenguer is going to come in to pitch. Got a pitching change. This game coming to you from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Berenguer, 57 games, one start. 34 years old, fastball at 95, and a fly ball pitcher. He went 8-4 with the Twins and two saves and a 3.96 ERA in 100 innings. 74 hits, 7 home runs, 61 walks, and 99 strikeouts. Not a big old bench here, is it? Who can hit a righty? 
And the answer is Claudel Washington, 308, 11 homers and 64 RBI. Claudel got around, didn't he? Excuse me, Mattingly with a decent chance to steal on first if I want to. To the plate we go, and Washington draws the ward. So first and second, two out. Yankees up 3-2 for Mr. May, Dave Winfield, who is 0 for 3. And no, we're not pinch hitting for Dave Winfield. Berenger gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Slow chopper to third. Gaetti foul ball. And the count is a ball and two strikes. Gets away from the 8 and everybody moves up 90. That's a, what, pass ball. So I think the Aino went to grab it and didn't have it. So Mattingly on third, Washington on second, and both would score on a hit. And they're going to walk Winfield for Roberto Kelly. We'll let Kelly hit. I think. No, I'll pinch hit Jack Clark. Clark, a good hitter, 242, 27 homers and 93 RBI. Bases loaded, two out. Mattingly on third, Washington on second, Winfield on first. Clark. Rips this one into left center. Mattingly will score. Washington will score. Winfield will score. And Jack Clark clears the bases on a double into the Death Valley in left center. And the Yankees have a four spot on the board. So here's Pagliarulo who is 0 for 2. So Henderson has scored three, by the way, of the Yankees' six runs. Pags strikes out, and that'll do it. Four runs, three hits, and no errors. And we go to the eighth on opening day at Yankee Stadium. The Bombers six, the Twins two. So Henderson moves to center. He's a four and a four there. Clark is a four and a six and left. So Clark. Henderson and Winfield, the outfield. And you can see how the rest of that lines up. Hudson will face Lombardo Lombardozzi, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Big inning for the Yankees. And the Twins still have one hit. Popped up. Skinner. A lot of room back there. Won't get there. Full count. He walked. And that'll do it. I don't really want six outs out of Rigetti. Oh. Cecilio Guante. Coming in to pitch. Guante, five and six with the Yankees. A 288 ERA. In 56 games, 28 years old. Fastball at 91 and a fly ball plus pitcher. So Lombardozzi on first, Gladden, 0 for 3. Charles Hudson, 5 and a third, shutout innings. And allowed one hit, that was to Kirby Puckett. Gladden's 0 for 3, popped up left side, Santana. Battles the wind, one out. For Gagne, who's 0 for 3 with the strikeout. Rigetti probably would pitch the ninth. In the right center, Henderson gets an immediate test, has room, two out.
for a pocket. Again, that lone hit and a double. Ground ball to third. Pagliarulo to Randolph and Anna Lewitt. So the Twins go quietly. No runs a hit. They'll leave on their fourth runner. And after seven and a half, 6-2 Yankees. So Skinner, Santana, and Henderson to face Baron Gare in the bottom of the eighth. Six runs, eight hits an error for the Yankees, and they've left on seven. Twins, two runs, a hit, no errors, and they've left on four. Skinner has struck out twice. Base hit right center. Brunanski will cut it off. And the Yankees trying to pad the lead. Here's Santana. Rafael is 0 for 3. Ground ball to Herbeck. Kent goes to Gagney for 1. They go back to Kent, and he will beat Santana to the bag. A 3-6-3 three, three double play. So two out for Ricky Henderson, who has indeed had himself a day. A single, two doubles, three runs scored, a stolen base, and a walk. And if the Yankees should win, will be your digital dice MVP. Pitch to Henderson, ground ball to third, Gaetti. And the Twins are finally going to retire him. So after eight, no runs, a hit, and no errors. We go to the ninth. The Yankees need four to tie, or the Twins, rather, need four to tie and five to go ahead. So Guante will start the inning. He did have 11 saves. This is not a save situation. Herbeck, 0 for 2, a walk. And a run scored. Right center. Henderson. One out. For Gary Gaetti, who is 0 for 1. He's walked twice. And scored a run. Uh-oh. Somebody just got ejected. Gaetti says a few unkind words. He talks about army boots. They got him looking with an 0-2 fastball, and Gaetti said the magic words, spear and magic helmet, and that got him rung out. So a last chance saloon for the Twins, and it's Randy Bush who's 0-2 with a walk. So nobody on two out. The Yankees lead it 6-2. This would be a combined one-hitter. In the right field, Winfield, and it is a combined one hitter. How about that? He told the umpire to puff the magic dragon, and that'd be that. The Yankees win the opener 6 2. So, in three hours and 14 minutes, the Yankees. Six runs, nine hits in error, and they left on seven. The Twins, two runs, one hit, just the one hit, and no errors. So Ricky Henderson, who was three for four, scored three times, doubled twice, stole a bag. He is your digital dice MVP. However, the trio of Roden... Hudson and Guante throw a one-hitter. Charlie Hudson, six innings, one hit, three walks, and three strikeouts. Frank Viola, six and two-thirds in the loss, seven hits, four runs all earned. He walked three and struck out four. And Baron Gare gave up garbage time hit, so, or two hits. So every one of the American League has played once. Let's play the rest of this limited schedule. In the AL. Phillies beat the Pirates 5-3 at the Vet. Shane Raleigh 1-0. I believe he didn't get his first one in my last replay for about six months. Dunn 0-1. James 3-4. for four, A homer and drove in 3. Cubs beat the Braves in Atlanta 6-5. Rick Sutcliffe gets the win. 
one and oh rick mailer takes a loss he is zero and one one of the laws two for four with two doubles houston behind mike scott strikes out nine they beat the padres who make six errors goodness gracious buffy st marie six errors ed whitson goes to zero and one Alan Ashby, 2-4, for four, his first of the year. In 10, Oakland goes to 2-0. and oh. They beat the Mariners 4-3. to three. Gene Nelson gets the win. Jerry Reed, when you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. He takes a loss, 0-1. Yeah, Ken Phelps. The Yankees would like him. 2-4 for four <laughs> with a triple. And last but not least, the, pot, the Giants pound out 17 hits. And beat the Dodgers 9-2. to Kelly Downs with a win. Oral Hershiser with a loss. And Will the Thrill Clark, 2-3. for three, A home run and two RBI. I think the weather is going to hold us back from streaming tomorrow. So we'll be with you on Thursday for the Mets in Le Expo from Montreal for another opening week thing. But... That's it. We've done two opening day games. And so the Mets and the Expos on Thursday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Until then, I'm Ron Zucker. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you the next time. Have a good day, everybody.